Welcome back children. Today we are discussing the same chapter that is chapter 5 seeds and seeds. The page number is uh, page number 47. Today's topic is wandering of seed. Okay. So the last class we studied about what do you mean by the seed and what are the things required for germination. How the uh, seed is turned towards the seedling and how it is grown towards the plant. Okay, that we all studied. Here we are now, next part of the chapter is the dispersal of the seed. How the seed is moving. Is any uh, seed is moving that we are discussing in this chapter. Okay, have you ever seen any seed is flying? Is seeds are flying, really they have wings. Okay, is it that really they are having? Okay, now we are discussing what, what, uh, how the seed is moving. How is, do the seeds are having uh, uh, wings that we are discussing in the Next topic, okay. The movement of the seed from one place to another place is known as the dispersal of the seed, okay. The movement of the seed from one place to another is known as the dispersal of the seed, okay. Here, the movement of the seed, the movement, movement of the seed from one place to another, one place to another another is known as the dispersal of the seed okay this is known as the dispersal of the seed one place from one place to another place it is moving so that movement is known as dispersal of moving now how it is moving may because of different reasons maybe by the wind or maybe by animals or maybe by water by bursting of the seed or by may because of by the humans or maybe because or maybe by the uh, plant birds okay so these are the many many reasons are there how the or many ways are there the seeds are moving from one place to another place may because of wind like wind weeds are there that are flying may because animals animals or sometimes the birds are uh, having their fruits after uh, and the fruits inside the fruit seeds are there so when they disperse it the seeds are also go there Okay, so from one place they are eating it and go in another place they are dispersing it. So through the uh, through that process also the seed is moving. Okay, like the uh, birds and also the animals are doing. Sometimes the seeds are bursting, bursting, but also maybe burst because of the burst, uh, because of the pressure of the burst, it's go from one place to another place. Then humans, we are also carrying from like sometimes. If we are going outside, some seeds are stuck on our uh, dress or maybe it's on our basket, our bags are also there. Okay, so that all are the reasons for the movement of the seed. Okay, so these are the way of the dispersal. So this movement of the seed is known as the dispersal of the seed. Okay, there is, uh, there is any seed, they are not having any wings, they are not flying, but flying or they are moving because of may certain reasons by wind or may by of animals or birds or us humans are also by water like coconut coconut always moving from one place to another like in the water then next one is by humans okay so even if some it happened this moment it's uh, from the generation almost generation it is going on Okay, so like one movement that had really got a new invention that raised towards a new invention that is known as Velcro. The new invention because of a particular movement of a seed that happened in the year 1948. Okay, in America 1948 a man, a man with his pet dog he walked he gone for a walk so after when they returned uh, they uh, they came to know that some seeds are stuck on uh, his cot and some stick, uh, some seeds are stuck on the fur of his dog so he using microscope he uh, carefully look at what is the thing what is this particular in, uh, seed so he came to the he came to understand what is the secret behind that stucking of the uh, seed so he generated a new form of invention that is known as velcro okay now normally everybody know that what is uh, velcro because normally we are in our bags maybe shoes our sandals the velcros are mostly using okay so that man it happened it is known as george his name is known as george manstrel okay george de manstrel was the inventor of 
the velcro he and his pet dog they gone for a walk in 1948 in usa and he found out that this was a special kind of seed which stuck on the we also had is it this kind of a special round shape of it have spines and that type of special like like in our school comment also sometimes we are seeing this okay some it is stuck on our dress so this uh, he watched it he carefully uh, looked on it and he carefully looked on through the microscope then at last he got the secret how this seed is stucking on it and at last he found the he found out the velcro okay so this happened in the year 1948 and george de mustrel was the person who invented velcro and he and his pet dog look at that his pet dogs also in the fur we can see the fur uh, in the fur also the uh, particular seed is stuck on it okay so this this invention happened because of the movement of the seed okay this invention happened because of the movement of the seed is it if he and his dog is not gone for walking or he are not able to identify the particular seed then velcro will not be generated okay so he gone for walking and he carefully and look down it what is the special kind of seed then that time only the velcro got generated okay so this is about the dispersal of the uh, seed now the we are moving on to the last part of our chapter that is from where these all these way is we are using lots of vegetables fruits pulses and everything okay do you know that all are it is all or from indian products or from any from it is from outside india okay that we are going to discuss the last topic of this is who came from where in the chapter this is the last topic who came from where okay so this is the map of world map from where we can identify that almost all the vegetables we are using that were not us it is from outside likewise the chili tomato potato these were came from south america chilies now we are using without chili you can you can't imagine is it so chili tomato and potato potato frames everyone like so potato tomato chili that all come came from south america then another one cabbage and bees which came from europe then the coffee everybody likes the coffee is it that coffee is also came from which place it is also came from africa coffee bean and also the bindi that all that came from the africa and here are the list of certain fruits which came from different parts of the world the apple apple from usa and south america okay apple which came from usa then pineapple is from isu then orange is from egypt watermelon south africa banana also from south africa pineapple is from nigeria then watermelon pineapple orange it is all came from nigeria the same we can see from here also okay look at here the radish this radish is came from china okay radish which is came from china then spinach is also there spinach is came from iran okay spinach lettuce that all came from iran and lettuce some part of the lettuce are uh, beetroot are also came from china so likewise if you are looking at some different kinds of vegetables are there they are came from different parts of the world that we are using mostly okay like the new zealand spinach lettuce peas are there okay then lots of like carrot is here cabbage look at there lots of tomatoes are there corn potato it this all belongs with the south american products and african products european products we all using all the different kinds of vegetables and vegetables and fruits but that all were not belong some are belongs with that but some are the outsiders okay children so this is about the chapter okay so in the chapter we studied about what do you mean by the seed and how a seed is generating that is germination and how is the seeds are moving a dispersal of the seed that we studied and the last part is from where we got all these fruits and vegetables we are using lots of fruits and vegetables from where these all came from that is the last part of the chapter i hope everybody understood the chapter 
please read the chapter and what all the things which are here in the board what you can see that please write it down near the uh, chapter okay children thank you